So whenever anyone reads their MRI scan report and it says they have a disc prolapse or a disc bulge or degenerative disc disease, it tends to spark a lot of fear and a lot of panic. But that absolutely doesn't need to be the case. Let's find out why. Hey guys, I'm Khalid, welcome back to Clinical Physio. So disc problems are said to be one of the most feared issues around the world when it comes to low back pain. But in this video, we're gonna highlight exactly why that doesn't have to be the case. Let's start with some anatomy. So between each level in our spine, we have these soft tissue structures called intervertebral discs. These are great. They help us to reduce friction between one bone and another, and they also have roles in stability, shock absorption, and load distribution through the spine. The discs are really well connected and reinforced in their position in the spine. And that's why it's really important to say that the term slip disc is a terrible term. The discs never totally come out of place. They are really stable structures. So sometimes a small part of the disc can reach out into the space where the nerves run in our back. This can happen through trauma, repeated movements, or simply as a part of the aging process. Sometimes, not every time, the disc reaching out can put some pressure on the nerves in the spine, which can cause symptoms like pain, muscle weakness, or changes in sensation. Okay, so why are disc issues not always something we need to worry about? Well, first of all, there are plenty of people all around the world who have signs of disc pathology, even though they have no symptoms at all. Brinjigji et al. completed a series of research where they took asymptomatic patients and gave them an MRI scan of their lower back. Amazingly, they found that 52% of patients aged 30 and 68% of patients aged 40 had signs of disc degeneration on their MRI scan, even though they had no symptoms at all. They also highlighted that 33% of 40-year-olds and 36% of 50-year-olds had signs of disc protrusion on their MRI scan, even though, once again, they had no symptoms at all. And so effectively, this research shows us that signs of disc issues can be a normal finding and could be just a part of the aging process, just like gray hair. And this is so important because that initial fear, worry and anxiety for many patients originally stems from reading that MRI scan. And so now we can tell them that actually, Lots of these issues are normal findings. Secondly, disc doesn't automatically mean surgery. If our patients have disc-related issues, and even if those issues are causing nerve symptoms, we know that those symptoms can absolutely improve with conservative management alone. Dedic, Massa, and Mesfin explain that on average, most cases of disc herniation resolve at between two and 12 weeks post-injury. And they go on to say that 90% will recover within six weeks. And so it just goes to show that simple conservative management, like getting some painkillers from your doctor and getting some exercises and basic advice from a physiotherapist, in most cases, will do the job and help someone with their disc problem. So thirdly, what about patients who have severe disc problems? Well, amazingly, we also have plenty of examples from practice of patients who are considered to have severe disc problems on an MRI scan, only to find that a future MRI scan shows that that disc has completely healed by itself. Zong et al. 2017 completed a meta-analysis of exactly this, looking into the rate of spontaneous resorption, the rate at which discs pull themselves back into place and heal by themselves. And they found that the rate was as high as 66%. And here is a case report of exactly that. Kim and Chung 2018, having a patient who had a clear L4, L5 disc extrusion, and then went on to have a subsequent MRI two years later, only to find that the problem had completely resolved. So final thoughts. We know that number one, Disc-related issues on a scan report can be a normal finding. Number two, conservative management without the needs for surgery can help most cases within 12 weeks. And number three, even if someone has a severe disc problem, it can be shown to spontaneously heal by itself. But we also need to make sure that patients are managed appropriately. So if we have any patients who have symptomatic nerve-based issues, they must be appropriately reviewed by the right healthcare professional. So if you've enjoyed this video, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to our channel for all our best updates. And you can find even more from us on our website at clinicalphysio.com. I'm Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you really soon here on Clinical Physio.